for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Start a new segment, and the second week that I do it, I don't even have it on the right day. But if you looked on my blog, I kind of gave a little heads up that we had a, a death in my family, and last week I was not. I was just preoccupied with everything else, and my family always comes first for me. This blog is definitely a second or a third, but family is just something I'm very passionate about, so I hope you guys understand, and I still have something together for you that I was going to do last week, or film last week, I'm doing this week, but things get crazy. But we are in my sewing room right now, and it's kind of a mixed together place. I, I keep rearranging the furniture, I just don't... I can't get a grasp on what I like, so I thought, let's decorate it a little bit. And that's what we're going to do today. So behind me, you can see, I have this little bench here with a pillow. And we're going to do kind of a fun pillow thing today. I'm really excited. <laughs> but it's just kind of dull and boring. So what I've decided to do is work on a pillowcase today. And I'm really excited. I have everything picked out, and I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my pillow here, and he's fluffy, it's greasy, it's so fluffy I'm gonna die, kind of, but not, not really. So I decided today that for this look I just kind of wanted to do something that would kind of, that would mix with the rest of my house, and I decorate with lots of reds and browns and greens. The first color that I'm going to use is this cream color. It's going to be kind of fun and exciting. And that will go probably on the front or the back, depending. And then I have this flannel, which I'm in love with. I just kind of want to go get more of it and bathe in it, because it's just so cute and soft and perfect for the freezing weather we're having. But just look at that. Don't you think that that's so cute? The red and the yellow. I just, I love it. And today we're going to add a little something extra into the mix this little scrap of leather. I have never sewn with leather until I've done this project because I've done one of these before a couple of weeks ago and I actually really kind of like the edge that it gives to things. It's just like the rustic edge. I'm really excited to show you what I've done with this leather. So what I've done is I've picked out a little pattern and what we're going to do is we're going to cut the pattern out from the leather and put it on our pillowcase and I think it's really fun and it's really cute and I really like it. And I picked a little deer. Oh dear. I was making that joke all day long when I was working on this before. I'd worked on another one and Branson kept rolling his eyes at me. Oh dear. Oh dear. It just was not. He didn't think it was very funny. I thought it was hysterical. So what I've done to get started is I went ahead and ironed my fabric for the most part, kind of got the big crinkles out. So what we're going to do first to start is we are going to take our deer and our leather and we're going to pick which side we like. I'm actually thinking about doing the um, really soft, kind of fuzzier side. There's a soft fuzzy side and a shiny side. And the project I did before was on the shiny side and I liked it, but I want to just try something different today with you guys. So that's our plan for the day. Okay, here is our little deer. He's so cute. We're not going to name him Bambi, so don't even think about it. Okay, I have traced all the way around this bad boy. As you can see, so let me take the pin out. Ha ha! And we'll move our little cutout. And now we have a deer. Oh dear. Printed on it. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to take our scissors, we're going to cut this bad boy out. Alright, now that we have everything cut off, this is what our deer looks like and this is once again the shiny side, but I am going to use the fluffy side just because I like the texture that it has. So. Now what we've got to do is we have to figure out which side of our pillow that we want our little deer to be on. Do we want it on the flannel, florally side, or on the pale, creamy side? I just don't know. That's the hard part. What do you think? I 
think I'm going to do the um, florally side just because that's my favorite and I was thinking of having this as the back anyway just as a just as a color a plain color but I think the there should be party in the front and lame in the back right <laughs> now I have my fabric laid out on my desk and I am going to place my little deer smack dab in the middle just because that's where I would like it to be I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than you'd think. I'm not going to sew it with my machine over here. I'm actually going to hand stitch this cute little thing on. So I have my little needle. I'm just a, it's just a regular needle for stitching by hand. And I have these because sometimes it's hard to pull the needle through the leather. So I just kind of grab this and pull and it works really well for me. I'm just going to use this brown thread. And I have our little deer already put and pinned in the center of the fabric. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm going to start from the body of the deer, right here where he's pinned, and I'm going to go from the bottom, the front there, and I'm going to push, now that there's our little needle. I'm going to take my pliers and just pull the needle through and then just grab it. And you could just do a simple down and up, down and up stitch, but I'm actually going to do a different type of stitch. I believe it's called a whip stitch um, onto my little deer. Alright, so I've got my first thread already coming out of my little deer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back under in my fabric, not that high up of course, but just too low, and then pull it back up through the leather and twist my needle underneath this big long thread and pull. Now we have our first little whip stitch. And what it's going to do is it's just going to really hold it down all the way around and I really like the look that it gives and it just I think it just holds it down better so it doesn't fly up on the edges. Okay, he is sewn on. Isn't he cute? It's just really soft. I think he's really cute. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I don't know if you can see but there's the thread that kind of runs on the side and then it's stitched down but it doesn't come up it just stays there I'm going to start by taking my two line, my two edges and I am lining them up and I'm going to pin across here and I'm just going to sew one edge Now that I have that sewn, I'm going to take all of my pins out. Oop. And when I unfold this, that's what it looks like. I'm keeping my pillow, what would be inside of the pillowcase, and this would be the outside of the fabric. Just to kind of get an idea of what I'm gonna do and I don't want my envelope to be super far it's actually just gonna be pretty small it's gonna come about right here so before I even start sewing the sides of the pillowcase together what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, fold this over about this much and I'm gonna sew that in place and I'm gonna do the same thing or I'm gonna figure out how much I want of this to come up and then I'm going to just sew straight across to make those look like smooth edges and then when I'm done I will stitch up these sides and it will be finished. I have put my pillow in and I have kind of measured where I want it so I've, I could pin right here along the edge but that would make this super big and super baggy so what I'm doing is I'm going in just a little bit 
and I'm going to sew right through these bumps that I've tried to line up and I've done that on both sides. Guys, I sewed up the seams and now we have this really cute little pillow and I kind of like that these little things pop up kind of uses them ears. I can show you. Got the back and the bottom the top. I really love it. So it's all complete. I'm so excited to have it here in my office, my sewing room. And I think it's just going to give a lot more life and a lot more fun to this room, which is really what it needs because it's all over the place. And maybe some direction. That'd be nice. And so I really like it. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you're inspired to go try something for yourself. Mm -hmm.